Hey everybody, welcome back to Skyward Sword, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. I also don't know why I feel the need to run around this weird little sun-shaped thing right here. But in the last episode, okay, now I'm just probably getting you guys all dizzy. Last episode, we dealt with these two rooms. Did we deal with these two rooms? Was this a room that we dealt with in the last episode, or was it just this one? Wow, my memory is really slipping. But anyway, in the next, in this, oh my gosh, should I start again? Should I start again? Because I don't even know what's going on anymore. You know what, let's talk about this. We got the Gust Bellows in the last episode, in the le last episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Basically, this is an infinite amount of air that we could just blow around at enemies and sand and whatnot. We can walk around with it. Like I said, you're going to want to get used to this thing. You can always center it if you need to. And we're back here in the second uh, room of the dungeon, of this temple, dungeon, facility, area, place, thing. And we've backtracked here to unlock this room, like I said, that was being blocked by Astaldra. And now we're going to deal with this room. So, let's come over here. I don't think there's anything over here for us. There isn't. Let's just blow away those enemies. This right here, I believe we'll be dealing with... I don't think we'll actually be dealing with that. But we'll be dealing with a form of that later on. So don't worry about that too much. Let's just do that. And I believe this area has a little path we can walk on. No, it doesn't. My mistakes. So just run across. Don't get bothered by the arachas. these things. And then we're gonna want to pull out your gust spell out and blow that away so you don't have to deal with it and get over here before the enemy respawns. Okay, Link's a little tired. Link is a little tired. Let's come over here and do this. Will you get away, Araka? Will you not bother me at the moment? Will you leave me alone? Thanks. Oh, look at Jelly Blob. You are a nice enemy. You are a... Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to go back to... I really love the way... that they designed this place. Look at it. Look at this place. Look at it. I want you to look at it. Seriously. Can we just... Can we just stop and look at this area for a second? Look at how amazing this place looks. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I really love the design of the Lanairu mining facility. It was really cool. Like, like I said, I love the way that they designed the past and the present areas and how that was a really nice theme uh, in Skyward Sword. So here you're gonna wanna use your gust bellows to uh, move these things around. So let's move it over here a little bit. That's good. Because right here is a treasure chest that we can get. We can we can get this later on. Not later on, but like later on in this room we can get this. I just like to pick it up now. We get a monster horn here. So like I said, I really love the way I love the way that we use the gust bellow. It's really cool. It's really awesome and interactive. Just the whole I mean the whole puzzles with the gust bellows, and you'll see what I mean. I mean just by doing these kinds of things, like having to navigate through areas with this, unlocking certain doors like this. Let's recenter that. That's the only thing I don't like about the gust bellows, is that they do a lot of recentering with it because these, these motion controls are kind of sensitive when it comes to the uh, gust bellows. Here we've got a Beemos. There we go. Let's bounce it back. Slice it once. Again. All better. 
Get some rupees here, and I believe we have a new enemy. We just gotta go down to go deal with it. Say hello to the Centrobe. Why isn't the music playing here? Why isn't the enemy music playing here? That's kinda weird. Anyway, this security general was built in ancient times and was armed with missiles fired from Central Turret. And as it suggests you can repel the missiles fired from the Central Turret with certain items at your disposals, such as your shield. And then the regular old spiel. Alright, basically, I've had trouble with this enemy the first run that I played with this. But what you want to do is like, basic, basically, like, um... What is that enemy called? It's gonna bug me now. With an Octorok, basically what you want to do is... I already screwed this up. I think you could blow these back at it, so... But what you're supposed to do is... Oh, wow, I really screwed up messing with the enemy. Okay, what you want to do is, like an Octorok, it's going to shoot things, and you want to bounce it back and hit it once. It's going to release these weird little spherical orb things that are bombs. And you just want to slice them the way that the light is being faced. And then it's going to strike one more time. And then you're de it's dead. And none of those rupees landed towards me. Great. The problem with this enemy is that it releases a lot of rupees, but it's really hard to get because of the fact that they float around and they're not easy to access. Hey. Will you... There we go. This one you gotta move with. Keep it on the red one. And move with it. Just like this. Of it, and that's basically how you can go get that treasure up there. I don't know why, I just like to get it in the beginning. And then basically blow it backwards against the blue one. And ride this thing back over here. And. Oh, this is a jerk enemy placement. I hate this enemy placement right here. There's basically a Beemos right here. You gotta get your, sh your shield out pretty fast so you don't take damage. That is a just jerk enemy placement. I do not like that at all. Pull out your Gust Bellows. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. And we can now go, I believe, back to the main... Oh, no, 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 no. This is not the main hub. We've got some Staldras to deal with here. Oh, this place. This is an interesting room. Uh, what we want to do here is... Wow, just... Will you die, Staldra? Hey. Hey. Staldra, die. There we go. One Staldra down. Wow, we kind of both hit each other at the same time there. Let's... Let's try that. No, really? Okay. There we go. This thing right here. You're gonna have fun with this. Basically, I have to say something. I have to say something. All the enemies in the Lanairu Mining Facility, I had trouble with the first time... I played through The Legend of Zelda, I mean, through Skyward Sword, like, I had trouble with all of these enemies, but then when I went back and I practiced this dungeon, these enemies are actually really easy to deal with now. I don't know why I had so much trouble with them the first time I played with them, I guess because it was the first time I didn't know how to handle the enemies, it's like, now I do know how, and I'm way better at using my shield now. So, oh, no, I didn't push this block all the way. So, yeah, I mean, if you have trouble with this dungeon, I hope I'm, you know, at least helping you a little bit understand how to really defeat these enemies, because they can be a little hard to deal with. Why does my voice keep... <clears throat> why does my voice keep, like, dying?
dying randomly. Okay, there was nothing there. Uh, let's jump over here. I do want to get rid of these enemies. Just because they can be a nuisance in a little bit. Let's blow this <clears throat> dust down. We can get ourselves an amber relic right there. Okay, <clears throat> seriously, boys, how about we not get all screwy for a second so I can actually, you know, talk to my viewers and let them know what's going on, what we're supposed to do, and everything. And here's one of the few chances that we get to use the slingshot again. And I don't use it correctly. There we go. There's a time shift stone in there. That area can be kind of confusing on how you're supposed to actually deal with that. But let's equip our gust bellow again. And get ready to say hello to... Skyward Swords variation on the Armos enemy. This security and defense mechanism was developed long ago. It will attack anything that entered its security perimeter. According to my records, its weak point is its mouth, but it requires some specific measure to make its mouth open. To open its mouth, I mean. And then we've defeated Zero of this enemy, and... Yeah. Now, unlike the, uh... Are most like in Ocarina of Time, these do not require a bomb. What you want to do is you want to use your gust bellows, hit the uh, make this little thing on the top turn, it'll open its mouth. Ugh, I didn't do that right. And then you can strike. Ow. And then you can strike it. You have to do this twice. Ow. Ar Hey, I can't. I'm stuck here. I'm infinitely stuck. I'm. Can I? I can't do anything. I'm stuck here. Anybody else? Can anybody else see that I'm completely stuck here? Okay, this is not good. Am I gonna die here? Because I was stuck? Well, I had a fair. But I can't get out of here. I. Does any- can I- thank you, okay, that was super weird, and kind of glad I had my fairy on me there. That was super weird. Oh, jump back. I did not- that was- that was just weird. Can that happen? I don't understand how that actually happened there. There we go. That was super weird. I thought I was gonna get a game over there. Wow, okay. Totally glad I didn't because I hadn't saved up to this point. So, wow, that was, that was just really weird. I can't get over that. Another thing that I can't get over, speaking of things of getting over with, is that we get the dungeon map super late in the dungeon. There's only like another room that we haven't accessed yet, so I, I don't understand why we got the dungeon map so late in this area. Not really sure why they thought that was a good idea. I thought there was a bird statue in here. There's not. Let's go in this room, and I believe this will lead us obviously back to the main huge giant room that we had to enter for like the third time, because now we are on. the other side of this Fi, what could you possibly need to tell me? My shield is- okay. Fi, I really don't care about my shield being weakened, but if that will, you know, kind of shut you up a little bit. A lot of people say that Fi is really annoying. I don't think she's super annoying because, I mean, yeah, she'll tell you your batteries are low or that your heart's deep replenishing and whatnot, but I don't think that's like the worst thing. I don't even think Navi is that bad, but we're not playing Ocarina of Time. And this will basically lead you back to the main, to like the opening of this room. Hey, will you? Thanks. I'm gonna save because I now I'm kind of scared I'm gonna die. 
even though the rest of this dungeon is, um, I wouldn't say easy, but it's kind of straightforward, kind of, sort of. Okay, here we want to pull out a bomb, roll it to this electrospume, and then, ah, my wires are getting all tangled here. What you want to do is you want to follow this path exactly the way it is, so let's get about here, a little bit more, and run on this path to here, run on this path to here, let's pull out our gust bellows, do this, I believe there's an araka under here. Now here you can see the path that you're supposed to take, so if you do get lost going in here, just look at the map and you should be good to go. I know there's some dead end, dead ends in here that lead with, uh, some don't lead with anything. Others have rupees. Let's go in here. And there's some arrakas that are gonna fall from the ceiling, so don't get too terrified. There we go. And in here, I believe... This is a blue feather, I believe. This is a blue feather. That is... That is so strange. When I was practicing it... The two chests that I've gotten, like, are... Not... Blue... Feathers. They're... Golden skulls. I mean, I won't argue, because golden skulls are a little bit harder to come by than... Um... Blue feathers. Well, no, I think blue feathers are pretty hard to come by as well. Anyway, let's just get out of this area. And go back over here. I didn't realize this, but this is actually a longer episode than I... Oh, whoa, 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 than I intended it to be. Whoa, that was, that was weird. That was weird. Let's look at our map. I believe we'll just finish off this little piece right here and then... I'll probably, like, stop the video or something. So, uh, I think we want to deal with that guy over there. Let's just blow him up. Okay, we want to run to about here. Ah, no, no, get away from me. That was, okay, that was easy. Uh, I don't believe there's anything under here. Wasn't. Kind of figured. Let's run across here. Can I get rid of you? You're gonna be annoying. Yeah, you probably will be, but I'm not gonna deal with you at the moment. Is that gonna hit you? Are you gonna explode? Can you explode, please? Thanks. Can I blow you away? That'd be weird. I don't think I can. Okay, how about you just don't interfere with what I need to do? And I think so. Let's get rid of that Araka. Now, here, this is a little trickier maze. But what we want to do is we want to go this... Nope. Don't want to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Why do I hear an enemy sound? Like, I heard the enemy music. I really don't want that green ruby. Let's go this way. And, uh, let's go over here. There's some awesome at mazes. Like, I am super awesome at mazes. Okay. You know what? I think this is a good point to leave off the episode. Just because we're kind of running at the 20 minute mark now. So, in the next Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to deal basically with this room. So, I will see you guys then. This is a weird angle to leave off at, but I'll see you guys then.